Now, speaking of phones, we are expecting some figures from the world's largest mobile phone maker, that is Nokia. It posts second quarter earnings later this morning. Our Jennifer Joan Lee joins us now from Nokia's flagship store in London, and she has more on what we can expect. Hi there, Scarlett. That's right. I'm standing outside Nokia's sleek new flagship store. It was open last year, and yet it's Apple's flagship just across the street that is getting all of the crowd still. And the same thing could be said about Nokia's smartphone, the N97, released last month, and yet it's the iPhone 3GS that's still getting the hype. Still, Nokia is, as you say, the largest self uh, mobile phone maker, and so it's still a leader for smartphones, at least for the first quarter of this year where it had 40% of market share. Now, in terms of shipments to operators, it's a completely different story. Uh, sales to operators for Nokia fell by more than 6.5% in the first three and a half uh, in the first three months of this uh, this year, whereas uh, Research and Motion's BlackBerry went up by 70% and Apple by more than 120%. If you look at Nokia's sales, um, in, the, in the first quarter, their average selling price was down from 79 euros to 65 euros per handset. That's really putting pressure on margins, uh, and you saw operating profits fall last quarter. Um, getting into the smartphone segment offers higher selling prices and higher margins, so that's really important to them. Smartphones is also an important sector for Nokia because demand for them is rising even as demand slumps for all of mobile phones in general. And the other thing about smartphones is that they offer the greatest opportunity to generate new revenue for its makers. Back to you now, Scarlett. Thanks so much, Jennifer.